Welcome, Scorpion. Welcome. Okay, Scorpion. Okay, I gotta get you. I gotta get you in here. Gotta get you in here. All right, Scorpion. Scorpion, I see help is coming in for you and love is here. OMG, Scorpion. OMG, 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 Scorpion. All right, so Scorpions, um, you or Evan, um, wow, you're having an issue with an old Aries Leo Sagittarius woman. Um, and this week, <laughs> I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta get into this. Alrighty, Scorpion, this is the third week of December. It is a fire week. You or water, so be careful. On Sunday, the earth energies come in. The week begins from the 16th until the 22nd, so be aware of that. Scorpion, I see you have a strong foundation against a conflict, whatever the conflict is and whatever that is coming out. I see justice is coming up, but justice is coming up on a uh, Aquarian. Whoever this Aquarian is and whatever is um, transpiring, I'm seeing justice coming up against an Aquarian and a Libran. So whoever this Aquarian and this Libran is, I see justice coming up. Now, uh, Scorpion, some of you are dealing, it could be with your partner that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. We're going to see who that person is. But I see justice coming up and I see love is being offered. So let's see. Who is this person? This person is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person. And I see there is whatever is transpired. This air, old Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius is the mother of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. This um, person is between the ages of 18 and 45. Whatever is happening and transpire, I am seeing that these two persons, there's a lot of worries for these two persons. So I'm seeing that um, this lady could be a sister-in-law or uh, a sister, whatever is transpiring, because there's a young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person is here. And I see that uh, um, it's a mother and a son or a mother and a daughter, and there is a lot of worries is there for these two people. I'm seeing justice coming down on an Aries Leo or a Gemini. This woman is 45 years and older, and I see justice coming down on this person, or I see um, heart communication. It's like you're saying, get, uh, you're communicating to this person. Whoever this person is, they're in the reverse. So they could be communicating to you whatever is transpiring. But whatever is transpiring, I see that if you have a nephew, a niece, or son, um, I see that this person is on the investigation and I think that the, a, a judgment call is coming down on this old lady. She's an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. I'm seeing, um, an investigation is transpiring and I see a judgment call over an Aquarian. Again, the energy of, um, the six of, uh, swords i see a situation is transpiring where some of you are thinking about turning your back on a business or on a house okay yeah turning your back on a house i see some of you are thinking to turn your back on a house or a business however that is coming up for you okay justice is here but i see a happy family i think Whatever the issue and the situation is uh, with a family, I see a balance coming in. I see hardship for a family, but balance is um, definitely coming in. Okay. And um, I see um, a situation is affecting a Taurus, a Taurus. So this person could be a Taurus, but I see that situation coming in. Now I see the energy of family is here. This energy with family, there is a lot of situation, imbalance situation with family, and this could be happening in the house. I see the truth coming out about a family. Whatever that has been transpiring, I see the truth is definitely um, coming out about a family. However, that is affecting you in your life. I am seeing that um, you have won against an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. And I see an Aries Leo or Sagittarius have to pay you back some money, okay? So this person, there's a lot of worries for this person 
they have to pay you back some money I see the energy of the devil but you have taken down that energy it's coming up as an Aries person I see definitely um, money is going to be um, you have to pay a couple a whole lot of money and this is that you um, whatever is transpired I'm seeing a, a situation if you have a child that is a Leo I see that this child wants money okay if this child is a Leo I see that this child wants some money there's a lot of conflicts going on in the life of you scorpion whatever is transpiring I see that at um, and whoever this old man is I see a lot of worries that is coming up for this old man I'm seeing some of you really turning your back on a house turning your back on a house and a situation I see the energy of the ten of cups I see um, conflicts in a family and it has to do with a Virgo okay conflicts with a family there's hardship for a family I see friendship people are seeing the truth about a Gemini and a Libran people are seeing the truth about a Gemini and a Libran I'm seeing a lot of uh, conflicts that is coming up in this week for you guys and whatever is transpiring if you're married to a woman that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or whoever this person is is a lady and her and her um and her son um there is worries for this lady um worries because uh, um there is an issue with the son okay so it could be your nephew or niece or so i'm seeing help is coming and i see that um for help is going to be coming in um for the couples help is definitely going to be coming in for the couples i see it is hard dealing with issues because I see that some of you have to pay out a lot of money and it is created by an Aries Lee or Sagittarius man that has deceptively lied to you about to something got you in so much deceptiveness okay mm. I see some of you trying to connect with this Aries Leo or Sagittarius, but you you're unable to connect with this person. There is definitely a judgment call for an old Aries woman. Whatever this old Aries woman has done, I see a judgment call coming. The family is in arrears, and the family is in arrears because the family is in hardship because of some situation that has transpired. The energy of the four of house whatever that has transpired with a house or with your business i see the family is in a lot of problems so if there was a family business i see that the family and the business is in a lot of problems i'm seeing some of you turning your backs um to an aquarian if you're living together with an aquarian i see you're turning your back to an aquarian I see you want to end the situation and leave whatever is going on because you realize that it no longer serves you. There's a lot of a situation with friendship that is happening here also where some of you, if you have a friend that is a Libran or a Gemini, I think these two are like these two hold you off because these two are more connected with each other. It's as if three is a crowd. Okay. So if you're in a relationship or a friendship with a um a Libran or a Gemini, I see that they're holding you off. I see there's lies and deception in your friendship group. Okay, I see these two, the the, the Librans and the Gemini is, is keeping together, but there's deceptiveness in this friendship group. I think you should stay away. Uh I you know because they're they're speaking about you around um um behind your back i'm seeing you taking down um an an aries man i see you taking down an aries man i see you're speaking the truth i see this aries man and 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 uh, um whatever has transpired a lot of you or in some huge problem i see the ace of cups and the energy of the ace of cups is that you you're trying to you know give love to your family and support your family but you guys have to pay for so much there's a lot of as you have a company i see that whatever has transpired you have to pay 
out a lot of money. Reach out. Three of Pentacles. Reach out. Reach out and ask for help. Whatever is trying, whatever is happening to you, Cancers, reach out and ask for help. Whatever the energy and the situation is, reach out and ask for help. Okay? Just don't stay there. Just reach out and ask for help. Some of you, um, if you, uh, you need, yeah, there's a, just a lot of conflicts, ladies and gentlemen, education, um, reach out, educate yourself over a situation that is going on around you. Okay. Find out what is happening. Educate yourself over a situation, a business situation, a situation that is transpiring around you. You need to find out what is, what is happening around you. Okay. You need to get to the bottom of situation, you scorpions. Okay. There's a lot of situation that is happening. And I think it's Christmas is coming in because I am seeing that you have a strong, um, a stability with the house situation. So some of you, if there was a conflict with the house situation and that sort of a thing, um, I see that, uh, um, there is a balance that is coming in. So this is going to be beautiful. Okay. So whatever is transpiring, I seen some of you, um, unexpectedly, I see you're going to be finding out something that people who you consider to be friends, uh, um, you know, educate yourself about the people around you. All right. Just educate yourself. You need to find out something that is going on about a house situation or something that is going on at, at your business. I see some of you are going to be helping your, your family. There is, um, some deceptiveness at play with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Um, some deceptiveness at work around you and it could have to do with people in power and whatever is transpiring i'm seeing this is a karmatic um situation so my thing is that I, I really don't like the fox and when the fox comes up um especially with a work situation and a woman mm, 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 i i don't like the fox and a woman smart woman short woman cheater Okay, so some of you, whoever you are dealing with, this um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, um, she thinks she's smart. Okay, all right, there is just some, but whatever is transpiring, okay, I see a lot of you dealing with um, your mother. This is a week of mother figure. Some of you are dealing with um, a woman that is your boss or a mother figure um, or a grandmother, a protective, but it's like controlling. It's like a strong all over you. Okay. But whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing that some of you have done some deceptive um, things against a Capricorn. And this woman is standing her ground, okay? And this woman is reigning. This woman is standing her grounds and protecting her child or her family um, against what you people have done. And if you notice, um, this woman is standing her ground. This woman walked away from all the lies and deceptiveness. And this woman is standing strong because uh, this woman, for some of you, this woman was a um, uh, used to work. You could have been the boss of this woman or the woman be the boss, but the woman saw the lies and deceptiveness around you. The woman really looked at you people and see the lies and deceptiveness and what you people have tried to create. And this lady stand her ground, whatever the reason is she's standing her ground and protecting her little ones. Okay. So she's, she's protecting the babies and she's protecting the whole family here. This is a woman that is standing strong. And whenever a woman have the energy of a bear, that is a mother, this is a grandmother, that is a boss. Okay. That is someone who is protecting, um, protecting her business, protecting herself from the deceptiveness that has transpired. And she's moving away from this situation. Okay. So it could be you guys taking on the energy of this lady and protecting yourself, but I'm seeing, um, this energy comes up. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm wishing you a very happy holiday. 
whatever is transpiring it's all about educating yourself about things around you and I see you women really standing up and protecting your kids your family your husband your wife and um, yeah um, some of you are really dealing with some hardship in the family namaste until next time